Well, uh, welcome back to the show for me and for you. I have been gone forever. Um, I, I mean, it's been two plus years now and life has happened. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are at your houses trying to figure out stuff to do now. This, this is the time, uh, you know, everything's shut down. Um, the, okay, so the reason I'm so close is because I wanted to do this. Bam! Whew! Get a good look. It's crazy right now. I had a hat on, but it's going to be like that the whole episode. Because I don't give a damn. Uh, I had some free time. Kids are asleep. My newest one, which is now two, but new to you guys, uh, just went to bed. So I got time. And I didn't feel like watching another movie. I didn't feel like sitting on the couch. I didn't read like three books. Not really read, but I do audio books while I drive. But um, so yeah, now's the time. And a uh, quick update, I guess. Uh, here's the car. And the garage is halfway clean because I haven't been doing much. But let's move this fan out of the way. <coughs> If you guys hear me coughing in this video, I really don't have, I don't have any COVID-19. This is my allergy season, so <coughs> you all know all the allergy people out there, but mm, that's what that is if I'm coughing. So, um, updates, wheel wells, you guys, if you watched previous videos, those sides are here. Let me see if I can squeeze through these sides are a little closer to being done so this one's probably the closest to I think this one might be a light sanding skim coat and then primer this one back here is sanded uh, this is just the fiberglass so sanded down um, it's ready for a light coat of Bondo then sanding again here that one has it's done it's ready for skim coat this one here is the last one we did. Um, came out a little wonky, um, so I had to actually cut and Frankenstein. I didn't cut it all the way, but I cut majority of it so I could bend it. And then I used bolts to hold it in place to where I wanted as it was drying because it was like, so you see how it's nice and close to the bumper now? It was like out here because it, it just dried weird. I don't know how it happened. I mean, you figure the, the last one I did, I'd have this down, no problem, but nope. This one threw a curveball. I actually redid this. This one just gave me hell, okay? I redid, look back in the videos. I redid the damn foam part of it. I don't know how many times, three, four times. I, this whole thing, then I was like undecided what I was going to do with the gas tank. So I finally decided what I was going to do with that, which I'll show in this video too, or maybe the next one, probably this one, depending on how long it goes. And then it just came out all, just all this was fine, but this back over here just came out and just flexed hard. So yeah, so I had to Frankenstein it. So this one's ready for some either... Hell, I don't remember. Okay, I already reinforced the back of that, so that's strong. I don't need to do anything to, you see these cracks? It's like, sl there's slight cracks here. Um, you know what, I'll probably put some fiberglass, uh, um, some, what's it called? Bondo hair. I'll whip up a little bit to just stuff in those cracks there, that way when I put um, Bondo over it, or I should start saying body filler. It's just so easy to say Bondo. I know that's the brand, but anyways, when I put it on there, that way it doesn't crack because there's like a chunk right there. I don't want it to come out or nothing. So I'll do that. Uh, and, oh, and plug these holes. So yeah, I'll do that. Covered up these holes and these cracks on this rear fender here. Um, and then tomorrow, Probably sand this down a little bit. Um, 
Because, as you can tell, it's still quite rough. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hey, guys. There you go. It, you can tell it's been a while, right? I keep looking over here instead of at the, at the lens. Bear with me. All right, guys. I am back in the garage working on the car. So we have this driver's side lifted up because I'm about to uh, make brackets for the side skirt down here. And now for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I've been cutting my little pieces here for the brackets that I make. So, <coughs> excuse me. This here will get welded to the actual body of the car. And when I get all this welded together, I'll um, drill two holes here, two bolts that went through this way, welded on, two nuts on this side. So this is on the car. Sorry, let me get straight here. This L bracket, or L, yeah, L piece is on the car, welded. This right here will be its own bracket and the two nuts will hold it on. I have welded the um, brackets together. So we got the back. So this is how they'll sit on the car. Of course, more spread out, but we got the brackets. And I haven't grinded them down or anything yet, uh, the welds. So like here I'll, on this back side, I'll have to grind them down. So this piece will butt up nice and Get out of the way. Nice and flush. See, the welds are holding it out. This piece here is the chunk I, I cut off of this L bracket piece. So I just need that much to uh, to get the right uh, angle for the car for these to sit straight. Okay, so here is the piece. I drilled the two holes. The bolts fit in there. Okay, I, I did find four. All of them aren't exactly the same, but <clears throat> they'll weld and they'll be strong enough. Uh, match these two holes up with the bracket. So these two holes will match, let's see, top to top, bottom to bottom. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Jingle, jingle, boom. So as you can tell, it's a pretty nice fit since they just slide in there. Okay, so you have that. This this end will be welded to the, sorry, this end right here will be welded to the L plate. Um, the nuts go on there. Anyways, I have this one done. Nuts go on there um, and I weld it like this. Um, so I'll have the whole bracket like this. I'll weld, I'll weld the backs. That way it doesn't um, disform or anything. And uh, and that's pretty much it for the brackets. That's how they work. Went ahead and welded both of the brackets on. They are on there. Welds aren't the greatest, but you know. Now, I have to trim the side skirt. This piece right here comes off because the uh, that um, bracket sits somewhere right around here. Um, so I'll trim that off. I will um, drill the two holes so I can use my Coleco pins to hold it on there. Um, once I have that fitted and it looks good where I want it, then I will come and I will do the fiberglass. All right, we got the side skirt uh, mounted on the two custom brackets. One there, one there, welded to the frame. So, that's how she's looking right now. Threw the hood back on temporarily kind of not all the way but I want it on there try to keep some dust out of the engine bay there you go that's how it looks right now it's like 4 30 in the morning so I'm going to bed 
All right, here's my attempt on making a flat piece of um, fiberglass for the tops of both of the side skirts. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll it and let it soak in all four layers and then it'll dry till tomorrow. <coughs> and uh, hopefully we have a nice flat piece. I did it on this, this um, real flat uh, particle board. All right, guys, uh, it's the next day. <clears throat> I've let this um, piece that I did out of fiberglass cure for now. Let's see. I don't know what time I finished it. It's almost been 24 hours. Um, right around 20, 20 21 hours. Um, and this is what it looks like now. So it's a nice, flexible, you know, this is four layers. So, so you can see four layers isn't, let me see if I can focus on that. It's not that much. It's like the thickness of a quarter. So I'm going to take the first, um, the passenger side here fender that I had mocked up, bring it over here, and I'm going to cut that first piece, the top piece to go across the top like that. And then uh, see where I'm going to go from there. All right, guys, I have now prepped my... Uh, side skirt here. I uh, did the cardboard outside here. I uh, finished the straight piece and went ahead and used some cleacles to hold it on there so I could get that top angle that I needed. Put the cardboard here. I'm going to fiberglass in here to finish up this edge. And then up top, I have the same things, just a little different shape. That way I can connect it to the top. All right, so I have all my pieces cut out. And I'm going to go ahead and, and fiberglass that. Uh, so, it's the next day. And I let the side skirt dry. And now we have a... I know it's chunky in there, but I'm not too worried about it. I might sand it down a little bit. Um, now we have the, the... This is the front. We have the shape. It's connected here. And that... Oh, sorry. It's connected here. Let's see, this is how it'll sit on the car. So we have that shape. And I left this a little bigger. I'll uh, use that to screw it to the, the inside of the wheel well. And then we're on the back here. This is the back side. There was just a little chunk missing out of there, so I matched it up. Alright guys, I got it fitted up. It fits right under the over fender in there. And, I, and that's where that, that little extra piece is, so it hooks under there. Um, goes right back into the same holes where I had it test fitted. And, let's see, back side. Side skirt is pretty much finished. I still have to, so between this top layer here and the actual skirt, right in between there where I had all the Clico pins, it's not connected to the um, actual blue piece down there. On the sides right here and about up to there, it is with a fiberglass, same in the front. That first little two or three inches or so is connected. Just in between, I need to go in and uh, put some, either some fiber, um, some fiber bondo or maybe just a, a little bit of resin in there to uh, stick it together. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just use a resin um, to get that seal and uh, maybe a, a strip of um, fiberglass on the inside to uh, connect them. Next next thing on the agenda is that driver's side side skirt with the brackets. So week one of nine um, to get it on the road hopefully. Uh, that way, you know, once you start driving and you start finding all the little 
tweaks and whatnot that you need to do, but I need to get out and enjoy this car. Um, that's what I bought it for, you know. I, I've had it for this long. If I didn't want to enjoy it, I wouldn't have kept it. I wouldn't be working on it. I love doing this stuff. Uh, I hope you guys like watching it. Uh, again, apologize for the huge break that I took. But uh, down in the comments, write a comment. Um, tell me what y'all think uh, of the progress. Uh, give me some, you know, keep the motivation going for me too. Um, like the video, that helps a lot. Um, you know, you know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed and you've enjoyed this uh, and you haven't watched any of the previous videos, go check those out too. Uh, Starts from the beginning. But yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Alright, peace.